Hi everybody, it's Josh. I, uh, listen, I just walked out of the Garfield movie and I'm not happy about it, I'm not proud about it. There was nothing really showing tonight and there were a few things at the time that was convenient for me. I don't have to explain myself to you, but uh, I went to see the Garfield movie and I had low hopes, but, but here's the hopes that I had. Uh, it didn't look good, the trailer didn't look good, but I figured maybe there was some small hope that they accomplished something akin to the Peanuts movie from 2015, I believe it was, where they made a loving homage to the actual comic strips drawn by Charles Schultz and where they developed an animation style that paid uh, tribute to that style, but also was aesthetically pleasing in a motion picture in HD. And so I was really hoping, I didn't think this would get close to that, but I hoped it would try. And it's not even trying that, unfortunately. This is just not a movie for me, so I'm not gonna waste a whole lot of time um, destroying a kid's movie. Uh, Garfield is a weird thing, you know, I uh, grew up with Garfield. I had all the Garfield books up to a certain point, starting with the first one. I saw it go from an actual comic strip drawn by the man whose name was signed on it to becoming Paws Incorporated and this this uh, crazy, um, you know, it's weird how, how the, on a creative level, how the parallels between Garfield and The Simpsons where it started with one guy doodling and it became like this pipeline of people producing this slick thing with model sheets and branding guidelines and then his name is stamped on it. But anyway, so Garfield, unlike the Muppets, that I loved as a kid and continued to love and still love as an adult. I loved Garfield as a kid and I left it there. But I do have, you know, a certain affection for Garfield and I thought maybe trying to make a definitive uh, Garfield movie using the elements of Garfield but for today's, uh, today's animation standards, I thought there could be something there. There's not. It's really dumb, it's really poorly written and they just, and this is where <laughs> I don't want to waste a lot of time saying that, you know, they got it wrong, but they really got it wrong. John's a cartoonist, but you wouldn't know it, uh, except that he's got a cartoonist table. John's lonely, but it really doesn't matter. It's all about Garfield. Uh, I, I walked out like about 40 minutes in, so I don't know, I don't, I don't know what else they did. I don't know. It started going off in this crazy plot that was like something out of like, I don't know what. It felt like an episode of a TV show, like deep in, you know, where they, they're running out of stories. Um, but they fundamentally get the character of Garfield wrong because this, this version of Garfield only has two traits. One of them's right and one of them's really wrong. He loves food. That's like 80% of his character in this movie is that he loves food great. Garfield loves food. We all know that. He loves Italian food. Boy, does he. Now he can use apps to order delivery, drone delivery, which I'm sure figures into the action plot later in the movie. I didn't make it that far. Um, but... He, um, he, he loves food and he hates Mondays. They do a bit about Mondays, but he's just not as sardonic and lazy. He's not, this Garfield's not lazy. He's incredibly active. And the other big thing that's wrong is the other 20% of his personality is that he's sentimental and sweet and he loves Odie. It's part of the, the, the fabric of this movie that he, you know, he adopted John, haha. Ha. They they totally retcon his origin story. It is at an Italian restaurant, but it's his dad abandoning him. Uh, and then he um, ends up with John and he lets John get another pet. And it's Odie. And from the beginning, he says, Odie is my friend and my partner and my intern. And there's all these jokes. He's never mean. He doesn't kick Odie off of tables. He doesn't torture Odie. What is going on? Who is this guy? It's not Garfield. Also, he doesn't sound right. Uh, so I don't know what else they did in this movie. I don't know if they even attempted. I don't know if there's any normal representation in this movie. I didn't make it that far. I didn't make it far enough to eat my candy cane. I've never actually had occasion to talk about this before, but I eat candy canes in movies. I, I stock up on them at Christmas time, and then I eat them when I go to the movies all year long. I know that's weird, but I like to have a candy cane in a movie theater. It's just a thing that I like. I'm noticing some very disturbing uh, stuff on this one, so I'm gonna put it over here with the trash in my car and not eat it. But um, that's probably all I have to say because I, I can't give a proper review. I didn't watch the whole movie, so I'm sorry. I very infrequently walk out of movies. It's a beautiful day. I, ha I, I saw it at a mall and I couldn't stop thinking of the things I'd rather be doing, so I, I went and ran some errands when I left, and that's a sign that it's time to go when you're not thinking about the movie and you're thinking about the exit sign. It rarely happens, but I did it today. I'm so sorry if you're disappointed in me. Um, I, I'm sorry to waste your time, but um, the Garfield movie, uh, cannot endorse, do not endorse. I'm sorry, um, sorry guys. 
uh, Pratt's not going to bail you out this time. So um, anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time. Josh out.